Hey, so something really frustrating is starting to happen, and that is that spammers, scammers, malicious people are starting to embed malicious code or replace free templates with malicious code, essentially trojaning a giveaway or a N8N template, retail AI template, you name it, these JSON files that we download from the internet and import. These resources that we so love are now becoming tainted by a few malicious users. And some folks in my community have let me know about this. And so I wanted to make a video showing you and teaching you the ins and outs of it, how to avoid doing this or falling prey to this. And then also I want to show you just how powerful something like this can be and why you need to think twice before you download a template from some random source. And without further ado, let's get started. If you're new to the channel, my name is Justin. I like to create content not typically like this. I usually create content showing people exactly how I solve problems inside my business and the businesses of my clients and people in my community. If you're new here, I run a community, a free community and a paid community called Automation Station and Automation Station Premium on school. I'll put links down below if you're new to them. I typically like to give away templates and now I'm questioning the way I go about that. But here, I hope to squash and give you good advice to to lead you in the right direction and so that you want to look out for. And that way you can continue to enjoy free resources here on YouTube as we all enjoy so often. So what's happening? I already said it. People are embedding or masquerading malicious code as free templates. And what the heck does any of that means mean? Essentially, they're giving you a file that may look like a JSON template or like you, a snapshot or an import of some sort. And when you click it, it's actually just a virus of some sort. I'm going to show you what that looks like in reality. At the end of the video, I'll show a quick demo demo on how quick this can happen and how powerful it can be and how much access it'll give a malicious user or a hacker. Why is this dangerous? They, they can pretty much gain control of your entire system if you fall prey to this. Good news is it's not necessarily super easy for, for them to do this. There are going to be signs. There are some things that you can do and I'll show you here in a second. So first and foremost, I'll say this. For my channel, if I give away any templates, I'm not going to email you um, from any other, let me see if I if I can write here, from any other email address. If I ever email you, my email address is always going to say at leadbrain.io. So go in there, expand. Don't look at the reply to address. Expand the to, the, uh, who the email is coming from. And if it doesn't have some semblance of leadbrain.io in it, I'll add a few more that I message from leadbrain.pro or leadbrain.co. These three domains, they're mine. These are good to open. But I don't necessarily give away templates this way either. I give away all my templates inside of my school community. So oh, let me fix this here. So if you come inside of my school community, I post, essentially, if I have a tutorial on YouTube, I post something like this. I attach templates inside of the school post, and that is the only mechanism I use to give away my, my, my templates. Now, if you're somebody is claiming to be me somewhere and they email you a template, it's not me, okay? I don't have time to email people templates. Another thing to look out for, okay? If you're in the, if you're in the school community, you download it direct from the school community, and I posted it. I posted it or Facundo, our admin, posted it. Good to go. Somebody else in the community, especially the free community, the paid community is pretty clean because people have to pay to be in there and spammers and hackers typically don't like to pay. But if somebody else posted it, be weary. If somebody has, I saw a post in the community where somebody was giving away 10,000 N8N templates. If it's too good to be true, it probably is. There's probably, they're probably trying to solicit something to you or in worst case, trying to be malicious. Now, I became, I made aware of this issue and the source was inside of this group. Now, I'm not saying that this is a bad group. This is a great group. There's 34,000 people in this group. Very useful. It's awesome to have Facebook groups. I love them. 99.9% .9 of the people in this group and the content in this group is probably positive. They're probably good. They're non-malicious. They're out here just trying to build alongside people who are just like them. I love it. But there are a 0.01 or 1% of people who are malicious and they're lurking in groups just like this. And so you need to be made aware and you need to know how to defend yourself. So first thing you want to do, okay, there is a free tool here. I'm going to pop it open here on my screen. If you go to metadefender.com, I'm going to, you see the Meta Defender. I'm going to go ahead and just click on this. So literally, if you just go to metadefender.com and you just 
click on add file here before you open a file or import the file to your n8n or pop it open to take a look at it just open it okay upload it in here and it's free it takes a few seconds and you see here there's threats that are detected okay right away there are a few sources that have flagged this file for threats now if you're just looking at this file at face value it just looks like a json file right there's nothing wrong with it, except if I open with a text editor, which I don't recommend you do right away, that doesn't look like a JSON file, does it? That looks like some sort of code. It's definitely not JSON, so something's fishy, okay? I don't recommend opening it, but if you did, that is another telltale sign. But I'm going to show you what happens here if I double click this, okay? So I'm going to pull up a virtual machine here that I have that is going to emulate what a hacker would see potentially on their end. And if you come in here, let me just run my program. And let's say you downloaded this template because you thought it was somebody trying to be nice on a Facebook group and they emailed this to you and you double click it. And then all of a sudden, something weird happens. Like the file didn't open. And as a matter of fact, a, a terminal window opened, which is strange. That shouldn't happen anytime you open a JSON. You may not even see this terminal window though, in your case. Maybe it's just invisible. If they're smart, it's invisible. But let me show you what just happened. If I come in here, see that your machine just started talking to the hacker's machine, which is not good. And you might say, yeah, they really can't see anything anyway, so it's not a big deal. Think twice, because let's say they just type in the screenshot command, and let's go ahead and open that screenshot to see what we see. Just like that, they can see your entire screen, okay? So everything that's on your screen is now present on their screen, and that's probably not what you wanted. So if you have credit card numbers, if you have sensitive data that's being presented on your screen, now they have access to it. Furthermore, as a matter of fact, I can just let you read through. This is a very simple, free, open source cybersecurity tool that a lot of hackers use to do malicious things. So it's not very hard to set it up. Matter of fact, I set it up in about 20 minutes. Look at all the things that they can do. I'm just going to scroll down this list of functionality. So this is file system actions. They can download files. They can delete files. They can list your files. They can make new files. They can get your system information. They can pull sensitive system information from your system directly. They can execute other files on there. So if they want to upload some more powerful malicious software, they can. Probably some of the most scary stuff here is they can actually send keyboard strokes. They can record keyboard strokes. They can control your mouse. They can screen share. They can screenshot. They can listen to your webcam. They can look at your webcam. They can stream your webcam. All this stuff is pretty freaking dangerous. So think twice before you download a random template from some random person in some random group in some random email. Do yourself a favor. You can come over here to Meta Defender Cloud or you can even go to virustotal.com and upload the file here. And if it is a low budget, low experience hacker, most of the time the stuff will flag here. If you have an antivirus on your computer, scan it with the antivirus, keep your computer up to date and you should avoid all this. But thank you for sticking around. I know this is not a typical video that you see on my channel, but I did just want to address something that quite frankly makes me upset. That's why we can't have nice things. But if you're new to the channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. If you like it, if you're new and you're not part of Automation Station, go ahead and join the free community. See if there's any value there for you. And if you're more serious and you want one-on-ones with me or group chats with me, just go ahead and hop in the premium community. I think right now it's 57 bucks, but we have about 70 members in there right now and they're all pretty awesome. So have a nice day. See you next time. Bye.